this is newbie for the soap making forums December challenge. We're going to do, I had putzed around with so many different ideas, but we are going to do a high and low water challenge. Um, I just wanted to show you this bar. I'm going to have my setup different for when I'm making the soap. Um, but this is the, the pour I'm going to do. I haven't done this pour for, I don't know, I think I did this three or four years ago and I haven't, I don't think I've done it since. But I want something where the high and low batters are going to come into contact with each other and something different. So that's the pour I'm going to do. And this is, oh, it's going to go out of focus, my basic setup. Um, I'm going to work with two different colors. There's going to be a high and a low water portion of each color. So I've got my lye in a one-to-one -one ratio. I've got some sunlight right now. This is great. Um, I've got my lye set up. My lye water is all set up. It's a one-to-one -one ratio, so like master batching. And then I've got my extra water in these cups here. So one set is going to be, there's my oils. My other um, oils are in the microwave. It's going to be beeping behind me. But the low water portion has to have a 1.4 to 1 water to lye ratio. So for instance, if you're doing, if your recipe calls for an ounce of lye, you'd be using 1.4 ounces of water. So just to make it, just so it's clear, I would do a 1 to 1 and then you'd put your 0.4 ounces in a separate cup because you do want to keep those water ratios pretty set. The high water portion is 2.4 to 1, so 2.4 parts water to 1 part lye. So in this circumstance, again, if your lye requirement is an ounce, you'd put an ounce of lye in an ounce of water, and then you'd put 1.4 ounces of water out here. I think that makes it clearer to people. Um, and then I also want to make sure that I'm using the water. I'm using ultramarines for one of my colors and they go best into water. So I'm going to use my water, my extra water to do the colors and then I'll put the rest into the lye. Okay, here's my setup for gelling. I don't think you need to do a water bath. I think as long as your soap gels normally under a blanket, it will be fine. However, if you want to follow Auntie Clara's thing to the T, um, this is what I've used. I've got my roasting pan there. Uh, it's full of water so that the water will go up to the brim of, just below the brim of my mold. I've put a sheet pan in there and I've put my cast iron pans at the bottom as a heat sink. So this is at 190. My, my uh, stove doesn't go to 140 or 50 or 60 or 70. It goes to only 190. So I'm heating it up. I have a candy thermometer somewhere um, that I will put into the water so I can tell when it's at about the 150 degrees. Then I can turn the stove off and on and off. Um, but with the heat sink, it actually stays pretty well. The temperature of the water stays pretty well once you get it to 150 and turn off the stove. So that's an idea. Otherwise, I think you can just use a heating pad and blankets as usual. I just wanted to show you my setup. I showed you a little bit before when we were a little closer to the scene. Now that you're above, I'm going to kind of show you what I've done in preparation. This is going to be my low water. This is going to be my high water. So I used some of my extra water that was in this cup that I explained to mix up a purple, or actually this is a pink ultramarine. Looks very purple, but actually the purple ultramarine looks even more purple. And then I made a mix of a mica and TD, and I used my extra water to pour equally into these two cups and the rest went into my lye water. Um, I don't know if you guys have noticed it, but even if you have a one to one ratio and it, you did it the night before and it's cooled down, if you put any extra liquids in there, it gets smoking hot again. So I strongly advise you to prepare ahead of time, put whatever water you're not using from your extra, whatever you're not using for your colorants, put it into your lye water because this got really hot again and I'm going to have to wait for it to cool down. Um, I prepared my high water as well. We're doing the same colorants. I used more water, so this actually the TD, I think, dispersed better, so I got a little lighter pink. I'll correct that if I need to. Um, and I used my pink ultramarine. Again, I had more water to work with, so I put extra water in here. This is about an eighth of a teaspoon. Ultramarines are pretty powerful, so that got a very small amount. This got a lot more. I may not use all of it, um, of the pink and the white, I just want to tint it so it's different from the, the pink ultramarine. And so if I don't use a little bit of this extra water, it won't be such a big deal. Lye, uh, my water, my lye, uh, my oils are cooling, my lye is cooling. I've got all my waters done, so these can go. 
any extra water as already in my colorants or in my Y bottle. So now I have to wait to cool. I do definitely advise that you prepare your low water batter first. Part of the point of this challenge is just for people to try low water. It's a remarkable technique when you use the right fragrance oil. It gives you so much time. There's this myth out there that low water means fast trace, and it is definitely a myth. It can give you so much playing time that it almost makes you pull out your hair. There's one time I waited for two hours for my soap to come to trace. It actually didn't even get to the thick enough trace that I wanted, so I just poured anyhow. So if you like to use a lot of colorants or you want to do a relatively time-intensive technique, Low water with the right fragrance oil is unbelievable. So you're gonna to get to see it. If you have to have the right FO for low water, if you have anything that accelerates, and I mean at all, you will be in trouble. Also, if you over stick blend, you're gonna get much thicker soap faster. So for all you stick blender happy people out there, this is gonna be a trial for you to stop ahead of the game so that you can see how much working time you have. And I'll put a list of some other ones that you can use for the low water. If you're at all uncertain, and I mean at all uncertain, don't use fragrance oil for the low water part. Just don't fragrance it so you can see how it works and put the fragrance in your high water portion. I'm gonna wait for things to cool down and we'll be back. All right, it's normally against my principles to stir stick blend in front of people, but I'm going to in this case because this is the low water. Everything is room temperature. This might be slightly warm. Everything on, safety care on. And when you're doing low water, you don't, what I like to do so I have the most time, oh, although obviously there are times I'm sick to death of waiting, but um, is stick blend to just past emulsion if you want to give yourself the most time with this. This is where you people have to be careful who like to split stick blend too much. Um, it looks a little different than high water batter. It doesn't get quite as opaque. Still, you can see that white look, but it's not... It, there's more translucency to it because there's less water. And especially when I'm using these kind of big cups, I can err on the side of too little stick blending because I'll be able to get my stick blender in those cups. One issue that comes up is if you're coloring into small cups, you can't, and you're sick of, and tired of waiting, you can't get a stick blender in there. I have my trusty badger, which I absolutely love and I recommend to everybody who soaps. Okay, now that was not much stick blending. So don't overdo it because you can always do more later. This might be just before complete emulsification. Like I said, it's a little harder to tell because you don't have the same opacity as a higher water solution. But like I said, you can stick blend in your cups or in your containers if you wish or use your, your, what you call it, your badger. So I'm going to pour about equal amounts and color. All right, I can see just that little kind of waxy look on the top of the batter. It's not a whole layer of oil, it's actually just that kind of it's almost like a little bit of the oil cools off on the top. That's what it looks like to me. That's about even, good enough for me. All right, so I'm going to color right now. It is 6.03, and so I'll come back and let you know timing so you can see how long it takes for this to set up. Oops, sorry about that. 